Hi, this is Edward Mendoza, and I want to talk a little bit about my application that was made from the ground up to help me focus on my school because I'm going to uh, OMSCS, which is an online um, degree for my master's degree at uh, Georgia Tech. It's, it was a great program, but it's very difficult. So staying on track with school as well as my own businesses on the side has been very, very difficult for me to, um, to keep everything um, together. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app, so anyway, the real difference here that um, that I've set up with the app, it's uh, I wanted something that you know visually was interesting, right? So it's like I have different buttons that uh, that you can um, set up based on you know theme you know, or type, like what's the type of, is it an activity? Is it homework? It's it's a what type of focus that that, that you're working on. The other thing that I, that I um, that I wanted to work on is what you see here as far as goals. Uh, let me click on that one again where it has goals and, and uh, different types of focus. It's um, having that long-term goal was very important because if you just set a timer and you're just thinking, oh, I need to work on this particular um, item. I mean, that's that's useful, obviously, but not knowing where you're going to be at long-term is, I mean, so detrimental to, to accomplishing your goals. So my whole point, and then with the actual results that you can see, from your weekly and then monthly, having you know a different type of graph. That is also a really, really big difference as far as you knowing where is it that you're at today versus your goals, right? So it's like if you have, you know, if you've done a certain percentage that particular day or that week or that month, you know you're heading to where you wanna go, right? So setting up on the, um, when, when you're creating it, you wanna definitely set up where you want to be focusing the most amount of hours, right? Which is why when you're going to click on it, it says goal hours left. So you know exactly how many hours you have left for the, the goal that you set up. And you can change all these um, that you want in the list. Here you have the update. So you can update, you can delete it, or you can you know just add the extra focus. And on the update, you can change all the settings that you were creating um, from the beginning. Um, the reason why I set up all these different modules, but with, with uh, you can have the same categories, is so then on your results, you understand why, you know, in certain areas, you've worked on the, uh, the same kind of material. So I think that's also extremely helpful. So if you're working on mathematics, part of it, you're gonna be doing homework, part of it's gonna be, you're gonna be doing theory, but all of that time was focusing on mathematics. So you have your long-term goal, you, know, you want to put in 100 you know, hours this semester or, or whatnot. You can always change that later on. But having that kind of long-term goal, then seeing how many hours you have left overall, and then seeing what you've accomplished today, this week, this month, all of that together I found really, really helpful um, for me personally when I've been working on my, um, on, on my projects and trying to get through school in the fastest <laughs> or slowest way possible, depending on how you look at it. So. These are different tools that I found really, really useful. And then towards the end of it, you can also see how many individually, you know, on that day or week or month, how many um, uh, minutes or hours that you've been spending and, and stayed focused on that particular area. So as far as each module, we have the focusing area, which as you're going through the fo your focus uh, um, per day that you've set up, these parts will disappear. So you can see very quickly, okay, I have two more things to focus on today, or I only have one. You can change the amount of focus. So if you know you want it every day, nine times, I mean, you're gonna be you know, clicking that quite a bit, but if on each item that you, you know, you've set, you only have it you know, set for, for one time, you can, after you finish that focus, it'll disappear and then it'll, it'll go into the results. It'll show you what you've accomplished that day. That's really helpful. So it's like, you just have to look at your board and you know what I call it, your board, your focusing board per day, right? So once all this is done, you're finished for the day. 
you go in and you see you have more, you can work on it. And if you need to change anything, you're like, you know, that, that's too much per week or whatever, then you just go and update and you change the, you know, the settings that, that'll that reflect more what you're trying to focus on now. And you, you can even change, if later on you just want to change the overall goal. Say so it's like you were starting on something, well, I want to learn this really well and have up to, you know, 3,000 hours in this particular um, skill set or, or you know, something you want to work on for that amount of time. And then later on you change your mind. Well, I want to work on it more. I want to work on it less. Just go in later on and, and, and just change it there. I, I set it up where everything that you're setting up initially, you can change and go back because that's really how life is, right? It's like we're constantly changing our goals, changing our metrics. I need to focus on this. I don't need to focus on that. It's, it's um, being able to update each one of those features I thought was really, really helpful. And then uh, as far as the creation aspect of it, you're creating different types of focus. You can create as many as you want and you can you know, delete them later um, if you no longer find them necessary. But the actual results of these will stay updated. And as you're doing these focuses, it's, uh, it's gonna help you with your long-term goals. And Because that was the goal for me, really, when I set this, was what would be a good way to keep you on track with what you're doing, but in a more visual manner, right? Because if you're looking at a calendar, you're seeing the numbers, and then you just see text, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's a way to stay um, on target. I'm not saying that, that that's useless. It's obviously uh, um, wor works well for a certain type of deadlines. But things that I have like every day, things that I need to do, this, these like continual things, like I've tried using that with calendars and after two or three daily items that I've set up, I, I just find it very confusing where it's like with, uh, with these kind of timers, since I'm coloring them differently, it's like they, they have a different look. I can just see them and just read, okay, yeah, this is, you know, this is for statistics, this is you know, my time that I have to spend on math or, or you know, language acquisition, whatever it is that, that you're working on. So in a nutshell, those are all the different things that the app does. Now, I'm gonna keep updating. There's other, um, there, there's other ideas I wanna implement. The more I hear from you guys as far as like what would make the app better, how could I improve it in other ways? I mean, let me know. It, it's um, I literally built something that I'm very proud of, and if this is helping me at a school like Georgia Tech yeah, with uh, such a hard education, I really feel like it, it can help a lot of other people that are going to be in the same boat. That's like we just need you know an easy to use app that can stay that can keep us focused. So you know when you're actually focusing on the app, because some people have looked at it, you know, it looks kind of like a game, and it's it's not a game. It's it's literally you're just setting up ways to visually stay on track with your goals, right? So hope it helps. Even if it doesn't, it's like I've, I've had a great time uh, building this app. And since it, it helped me, I'm just hoping it helps other people to, uh, to accomplish their, their goals as well. All right, if you guys have any comments, uh, let me know. And uh, well, hope you use the app and you find it useful.